Hey guys, uh, KTC Gaming here. My microphone's a little different this time so that you guys can get my genuine screams without my microphone going <laughs> like it's having a seizure, like I, like I almost did last time I played this game. So uh, we're back with another one. Let me see if, I, yeah, I got a whole bunch of room this time. Got a, a wall behind me. I'm gonna be cropping out myself, so yeah. We're back with part two of Five Nights at Freddy's VR, the game that I desperately hate so much and uh yeah i think uh i haven't been jump scared once i've realized that and i know people were saying that this was probably one of my best videos on my channel so uh we're gonna start things off actually um let's start things off with plus trap actually we're gonna do we're gonna do a dark room plus trap and then the next one we're gonna try night two of five nights at freddy's one we might get four games in like we did last time but that depends on if i get scared or if i shit myself within the end of the video so let's do plus trap oh boy Nice try, boy. You thought you got one. Freddy Fudge Bar. Special button in the candy pail to enter the Halloween hub. Keep in mind that this DLC pack is nothing more than a festive holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Still feel like really tiny here. You shouldn't. Uh, remember the coin that we spotted out. <laughs> Why? Fucking hell! Get you. 
Get out! Fucking piece of shit. <gasps> Better look at him. Look at him. Coin. The machine. Fuck you. Cool. Freddy still hasn't moved. Oh, I think Freddy moved. He did. Saw that move. Bad. Dude, I am on a roll, man. Remember, we're gonna get harder. Foxy Cove Cooler. Oh. oh. Gotta love Foxy. Not when he's running at you, but. It's like Lux on my side today. It appears like is nothing more than oh, yeah. a festive holiday themed add on. Let's go here and grab some stuff, actually. There's no hidden intent or purpose. So, have fun. Oh, there's a coin in there? Are there any coins in there? Oh. Oh, dude, you got a couple tapes. Oh, I think there's another one. Up there, yeah. Well, not up there. Over to your left. Looks so, like a glitch in there. What are you talking about? Oh, come on. What? Yeah, yell Kobe. You didn't yell Kobe. Now how am I supposed to get that? Uh, probably just move forward. So. Yeah. The way you'll know if this is if you come back from a game and you go to the prize corner. See if it's there. Okay, so let's uh see if we got the thing now. You got it. Oh, there it is. And there's you, Mr. Bunny. You got it. You finally got the tape thing. All right. We're going to go into the tape thing for a bit and get the story started. Yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from oh, the cool gameplay files. Oh, he's in the back. I didn't know that. In a place that only a beta tester would Or I think I actually might have known it. And in a place okay. where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope 
that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Why? Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. You ask in the animate objects why? I saw it for the first time no, I'm today. I'm asking the lady. There was a character I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. Yeah. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Sounds like a FNAF 4 to me, lady. Come on, give me the third tape. <laughs> it literally won't go. <laughs> there you go. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble. In no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit. There's no way there isn't. What was that? It happened in this building really just upstairs. a few doors down from huh? me. That was upstairs. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. But as a oh, dev team, you it we all pretty. just saw it as a challenge Absolutely. to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have yeah, to go. Yeah, moving something up there. I don't know. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made no. up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess they're more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design sure work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, Very I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That yeah, seems so silly too, now. Jeremy already. used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. The drawers have been emptied out. The tape Someone the was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No, there was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. I can't actually hear the tapes just to sum that up for anyone in the comments. Wait, well, don't interrupt the tapes. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing from all the way down the hall. Well, that one ended. Have fun. Uh, let's do Freddy Parts and Service. All right. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Damn, you let's thick. Let's return it to the lost and found. Now, I know you're sitting Carefully, on something. Grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's Damn, mouth. Damn, Freddy. Mm, you're making me blush. Why would you kiss that area? Don't mind me. I'm just going to take the tape here. What do you say again? Uh, the rum, dum, dum, the rum, dum, dum, no, 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 no. What did the guy say? What, what, guy what was I supposed to do? Oh, you're supposed to take the hat out. I know that, and I can't even hear it. You're lying to me, aren't you? I'm not. Trust me. Take the hat out. Freddy's got a pretty again. good hold of it. And you Give it another firm time. tug. Good job. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> Yeah, 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 I get it. One of our guests <laughs> left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. I wasn't lying to you. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Oh, there you go. There you go. 
Don't you do anything funny! Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. <laughs> good job. Now place the hat go. in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything you think you're else funny, huh? inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, <laughs> grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Don't get any funny ideas, bud. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity <laughs> is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found. Why do you have a watch? Be careful not to touch any of Why Freddy's sensitive wiring. So you put it in the bin? Yep. Good job. That's it appears there is a child's too. shoe wedged behind Freddy's Yet music again, box. Why do you think there's a shoe? The Come on. The must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. <sighs> Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta make sure it's the same as the other one. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Remember, you also have to take the jukebox Great job. out. To reset the safety latch, Push. press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Pay attention. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Where's your dig, bro? I'm trying to think of something to uh, talk about. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity, and we'll call it a day. Hold on a second, because I gotta realize, do I just pick up a, one of these random ones when it comes? Because I know it's about to happen. I know it's about to happen. I'm not fully sure. I think you're not... Oh no. You're dead. You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. A slow and even you pace is recommended. That one's broken. A oh, slow wait, no, and sorry. even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. <sighs> that concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Yeah, yeah. I hate you. <laughs> Butter for one. All right, so we got time for one more. You just ate straight butter. Congratulations. It appears you have been granted access to additional holiday content. Wait, how's it going? Press the special button in the candy pail to enter the Halloween hub. Really? Keep in mind that this DLC pack is nothing more than a really festive holiday-themed add-on, which has... All right, what should we do next? By the way, anybody in the comment section, uh, recommend one of the levels you want me to do. Right now, I'm just picking for myself, but if you guys want to see me play a certain level that I haven't done yet, let me know down in the comments and I'll do your level for you. You know what? Let's just go ahead and finish off parts and service and let's go ahead and finish up with Foxy. Just to get it out of the way. And then in this case, guys, I won't be able to easy it out within the next few videos because I've already got the easy ones out of the way. So win-win for everybody, I guess. Welcome back to parts and service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to right? full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place oh, Foxy's go. head on his endoskeleton. I think there's another cape that's like down low. Oh no, ah! it looks like Foxy's <laughs> proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid stop bodily harm, guy. wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. This one. In the leg, right? That's what you're going for. You said the leg, right? I don't know. You better hope. 
good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. Oh. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Where's this one for? Number two and number four. What am I supposed to put on you? Uh... You are one nasty boy. Ah! No! 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 Gerd! Gerd! No, 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 no! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I'm glad these, uh, these uh, supposed supposed to be easy levels are the ones that are the hardest of them all. Like oh. No! Oh. 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 Okay, okay, you're gonna get it this time. No! In four? Probably. Blue, green, blue. Right there. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer oh. number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Come on, Foxy, just give me a chance here. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. God, I'm so glad this freaking thing's over now. Hey, Foxy's pretty easy. Yay, Freddy, Freddy Fazbear. Yay. Eat him. <laughs> well, uh, that's it for this video. <laughs> All right, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the part two of Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Did not go the way I wanted it to go. Not the way I expected it. But uh, I'm, I'm sure we're still going to get a few laughs out of me getting scared. I think what got me the most was when I did um, Freddy. Freddy got me very good when I dropped the hat. So, uh, yeah, that was very good. If you guys want to see a part three, let me know. And let me know what part of the game you guys want me to do. Do you guys want me to finish FNAF 1? Do you want me to go to 2, 3? Do Nightmare Balloon Boy, et, uh, e e e Eobard or something? I think it's Eobard. Uh, either one of those. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. 110 subscribers. Let's get to 200 by the end of this year. And uh, share to other people me getting scared shitless. And with all out of the way, I will see you guys next time. Maybe with a Half-Life Alex video if anyone's interested.